In this lesson, we'll look at a classic buoyancy problem involving how to test for gold using the Archimedes principle. The question reads, a certain gold statue weighs 70 newtons when out of water and 64 newtons when immersed in water. Determine if this gold statue really is gold by measuring its weight in and out of the water. The game plan here is to somehow find the density of this metal and compare it to a known density of pure gold. If there is a match, then the statue is in fact real gold. With that being said, to be successful with this type of problem, we need to know how to calculate force, since that's what they've given us in the problem. Normally, we calculate force by taking the mass times the acceleration. Let me show you what I mean. Force is equal to mass times acceleration, and the units for mass are in kilograms, the units for acceleration are in meters per second squared. The reason why I've chosen kilograms and meters per second squared is because together this makes one newton, and that's the unit that they've given us. So altogether that's one newton, but you can also calculate force by taking the density, which I'll represent with the Greek letter rho, multiplying it to the acceleration, and that's the acceleration due to gravity, which is a constant at 9.8, times the volume, which is a cubic unit. Density is a measure of mass per volume, so I have kilograms per meters cubed. Acceleration is meters per second squared, and volume is meters cubed. As you can see, the units cancel out, leaving you with kilograms times meters per second squared. So this is a valid way of finding out the force as well. If you notice, the weight of the object weighs less in the water. It's 64 compared to 70. Material objects weigh less when partially or completely submerged in liquids due to a buoyant force of the liquid pushing back against the object. This buoyant force is expressed by Archimedes' principle, which states that a body partially or completely immersed in a liquid is buoyed up by a force equal to the weight of the liquid displaced. So the weight of this object goes from 70 to 64. So there's a loss of 6 newtons. In this case, six newtons worth of water mass were displaced in the process. To find out the volume of the water displaced, we can sub six into F, found in this formula, and solve for volume. According to Archimedes' principle, the displaced volume of water is the total volume of the object. So now I have six newtons is equal to the density of water, and that's given up here as 1,000 kilograms per meters cubed times the acceleration due to gravity being 9.8 meters per second squared times the volume in which we're looking for. So I'll multiply these two values and divide both sides by the answer, where I have 6 divided by 1,000 times 9.8. And we get a volume of 0 0.000612 meters cubed. So 6.12 times 10 to the power of negative 4 meters cubed. Now just to be clear, this was the volume that was displaced after the statue was placed into the water. Now we can set up another equation similar to the one that we had earlier, where for force we will put 70 newtons, that's the weight of the object, outside of water, and we'll keep this variable unknown. That's the density that we're looking for to find out whether this is gold or not. We can actually compare that value with the actual density of gold times 9.8 meters per second times a volume of 6.12 times 10 to the power of negative 4 meters cubed. Again, we'll multiply these two factors and divide by 70. So 70 divided by 9.8 times the previous output that was on our calculator and we get a density of 11,666 and if we want to round this to two significant figures that's around 12,000 the units are kilograms per meters cubed. Now how does that compare to the real density of gold? The real density of gold is 19 times 10 to the power of 3 kilograms per meters cubed. This is a lot less than that. And the metal that is closest to this value is in fact lead, which has a density of 11 times 10 to the power of 3 kilograms per meters cubed. 
suggesting that perhaps this statue isn't gold, but maybe just gold plated and the metal itself is made out of lead. So this is an old school way of determining whether something was in fact gold or not. The same experiment can be conducted by lowering the statue into a beaker of water that's on a scale. The volume is determined by the increase in the level of water in the beaker. The drop in tension in the cord is offset by the increase in the scale reading when the statue is lowered into the beaker. And then you calculate the density as before. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any further questions, leave them in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.